All right, Cruz. He uh he jumped in, Cruz Madrid, and he said, Hey Gary and Chris, good morning. My Sooners need to start Caleb. I'm sorry, I like Spencer, but I think Caleb wins us more games. Go G Man, by the way. Uh yes, we we try and knock out this show before the NFL stuff. Uh Red River. Red River comeback, Red River whatever. I mean, like this is this was nuts. Oklahoma fifty five, Texas forty eight. Texas led twenty eight to seven after the first quarter. They led thirty eight to twenty at the half. They led forty one to thirty after three, and they lost the game fifty five to forty eight. Kennedy Brooks, thirty three yard touchdown with three seconds left. He was unbelievable. Over two hundred yards rushing. The the Kennedy Brooks and Bijan Robinson show was awesome. But the the turning point in this game and. Do you remember me talking about this in the preseason, how I don't think the best quarterback on on the Oklahoma roster was Spencer Rattler? Like, it, it's been Caleb Williams the whole time. And it's not that Caleb Williams is a better pure passer. Caleb Williams is a better player overall. Like, we... Spencer Rattler has a little bit of the, the Adrian Martinez thing. Like, he, he does a lot of things well. But you put him into pressure situations, and he's going to find a way to, as you would say, to cock it up. Yep. And and that's what he had here. <laughs> Ethan Broom, this is such a stressful year to be a fan of the Irish. <laughs> I disagree. I think uh, it's exciting. I think it's fun. But anyway, so I want to I want to get to I want to get to what Cruz said. First, you don't owe you don't owe Spencer Rattler an apology at all. No. At all. You you shouldn't feel bad either, by the way. That guy's a punk. That guy's a piece of crap, and and he's a pretty good quarterback. Okay? For those that haven't seen the uh, the inter- not the interview, the video of him in high school, is this what you were talking about? Him being a punk? Well, but yeah, but he's he's that same guy here. Like what he was at seventeen in high school, I'm not going to kill a guy for. But it's a sign of of your character, and if you never grow out of that, then yeah, that's what you are, and you're a piece of crap. This dude thinks that the world should bow to him, and he's so sensitive. And even even Lincoln Riley, like, is still in the post game, like protecting his feelings. He won't give Caleb the credit that he deserves. Hey, he by the way, Caleb let me let me stop the media. He okay that so that situation after the game, Holly Rowe comes out. She she said, I wanted to talk to Caleb Williams. Caleb thought that he was going to have the the post game interview. And Lincoln said no. Lincoln wouldn't let him talk to the... And I, I get it because he's like... A lot of coaches do this with like young players. But that's that's no, a no, massive no, no, moment. No, 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 no. A lot of coaches do that with young players at the podium. They don't let them take firing shots at the podium from lots of sports writers. Right, right, right. When the game is over and you're the winner, those interviews are the biggest puff pieces you can get. Yes. Nobody is asking you hard questions. Nobody is challenging anything at all. It is all a feel-good story on the field right after you won a big game. That is that is all that is. That is massive for your brand. And trying to protect Spencer by, by putting Caleb in a closet, if I was Caleb, I'd be pissed off. And me and my head coach, I was a pretty respectful guy when I was a young guy. I would never want to stand up to authority like this. But me and my head coach would have a conversation about, hey, man, this is not okay. You want to protect me from all the vultures out there? That's fine, and I appreciate it. But this is not a vulture situation, and you know it. You know it. You're trying to protect that other guy's feelings that I have beat out, and I have earned this job. And all this two-quarterback talk has got to stop. It's my job. I just beat that guy. I yeah. just won the biggest game of the year for us, and you need to go tell that guy to can it. Yes. Yes, 100%. Caleb Williams, uh, looking at the numbers, 16 out of 25, 212 yards, two touchdowns, no picks. He also ran four times for 88 yards. The uh, the 66-yard touchdown was electric. Just yeah. unreal. Yeah. Spencer Rattler on the other side, 8 out of 15 to start, 111 yards. That's 7.4 per clip. Zero touchdowns, one interception, and the offense just did not move with him well, in the game. Like it let, did me not. Tell, let me tell you what happened in this game. When he was in, they sold out to stop the run. You know why we didn't see any of those amazing runs while he was quarterback? Because they just put eight guys in the box and said, Spencer, we think we can play you man-to-man and stop everything you want to do. Yes. And you know what? They did. They did. They stopped everything he wanted to do, and they said, we just have to stop that badass running back. Yes. 
Yes, 100%. Texas on the other side, like Casey Thompson, 20 out of 34, 388 yards, five touchdowns, no picks. Show me a quarterback with that stat line that lost a game. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you this. What sucked is, is the offense went away as soon as he hurt his hand. Yes. And you could see him on the sideline trying to throw the football, and he still made some throws, but that, that changed the football game because here's what's bad. Sark thought that even a banged-up case that could not throw the ball well was still better than putting Card out there. Yeah. No, you're, That's you're right. a damning indictment on Card, by the way. Uh, Xavier Worthy, by the way, wide receiver for Texas, nine receptions, 261 yards, had a 75-yarder. He had two touchdowns. Just unbelievable. Oh. The, the back and forth. Hey, the Marvin Mims catch for Oklahoma, by the way, oh, that, that back shoulder like heading into the end zone was a thing of absolute beauty. Absolute beauty. This was like for for old school guys like you and I that that like a good defensive slugfest. This was oh, still a hell of a lot that. of fun. No, this like, was oh. this was a great game. What I liked about this game is it was haymaker after haymaker, man. I mean, it was like the prize fight last night that we got. It was just it wasn't matriculating the ball down the field. It was I am going for the kill every drive. Yes, I get four downs in one of these four. I'm going for the house. It, it was it was absolutely ridiculous. Oklahoma getting the ball back uh, with what da, 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 three minutes uh, left? I think. Yeah, I'm trying to think. A, no, no, no. They, oh, here we go. All right, so they they scored they scored a touchdown with uh, let's see seven minutes left to tie the game at 41, and mm-hmm. then they got the ball back right afterwards on a a kickoff. Oh, like, the fumble. fumble. And yeah. that was, like, the complete that turn. Point. Like, yeah, but, I mean, it gave Oklahoma a lead. Now, Texas did come back down. They, they had a turnover on downs. Forced but now, Oklahoma yeah, to but punt. Now Texas, but now Texas is playing from behind when yes. the entire game, Texas was playing from out front. Every score they got was a score to give them the lead. Every score Oklahoma was getting was getting to tie it. Now, with that turn of events, it flipped everything. Yes. Yes, you are correct about that. Uh, before we move on to the next game, we got a ton of guys watching. If you would, so kindly, make sure and hit that like button for us. We would definitely appreciate that. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and knock that out for us, too. We would certainly appreciate it. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.